Yo guys, King Nerf here, and today I'm bringing you guys an unboxing and review of the Nerf Zombie Strike Sling Fire. So, what's cool about the Sling Fire is that it is, I believe, the first uh, blaster in the Zombie Strike line that actually takes a clip. Um, the magwell is down here, I believe. And another thing that's cool about it is that it has this, like, um prime action where you actually take this rod and you, you grip the rod and then you push it down and then pull it back up and then it's primed. So I think that's really cool. So going over the box, there's a little dude with the blaster, um, zombie strike logo, it's a sling fire down here. Um, I know unfortunately like all zombie strike boxes it's open faced. I know it, it's not, I don't like it. Um, I just don't see why they have to make every box open face for the zombie strike line. Um, Alright, so Nerf logo up here, lever action blasting. And then on the back we've got the blueprint of the blaster just pointing, by, uh, pointing out some different features. Alright, so now let's cut this bad boy out. So I believe there's some twine over here holding it in. Alright, I'll snip that. And then there's some right here snip that. Then there is also some right here and by the barrel. Alright, there we go. Now this should just come right out. I don't know why it's not. Alright, there we go. Alright, so the blaster is free and I'm already noticing that it seems like when you put when you push this all the way forward, um, when you would think that it would be all the way forward, it's actually not, and then it won't let you pull it back unless you actually go forward the full rest of the way. Alright, so I'm going to set that down for now. Then I'm going to put the rest of the box apart. Where's the tape? Alright, so there appears to be some tape down here that I'm just going to cut. Alright. And then all of this stuff should come open. A little bit more tape apparently. Alright, there we go. Alright guys, and... No, the jars are taped in there. That's stupid. Alright, so the box is now empty and out came the darts as well as the instructional manual. So with the sling fire, you do in fact get six green zombie strike darts because it does in fact come with the six dart clip. So there's the instruction manual and then the six zombie strike darts. Um, Alright guys, so that does it for the unboxing, and I will be right back in a few with the review <laughs> that runs. So I will see you guys there. Alright guys, I'm back with the review segment. Um, I'm going to be going over the feature th uh, features of this blaster from front to back, and then I'm going to be giving you my opinion and then uh, rating it on a scale of 1 to 10. And then obviously the firing test. Alright guys, so starting at the front, um, federally mandated federally mandated orange tip like all other nerf blasters um no real change there it does not take m strike barrel attachments which is kind of a shame um it has an iron sight up here which lines up kind of nicely but the stock is kind of in the way in my opinion um moving back a jam door right here it opens up to clear any jams that you might have You've got your six dart clip and your magwell. To remove the clip, you have to tie it forward. Then pull this thingy back. And the clip actually falls right out. Usually. There we go. So if you um, pull this thing back, then just give it a little shake, it will come out, which is nice. 
All right, so moving farther back, we've got a tactical rail up here, which is nice. Um, then keep going, and then yeah. Then if we keep going, we have two little uh, iron sight line up things where you line up with this iron sight. Um, those line up quite well actually. And then we have the um, priming thing where you push it forward. You push it forward and it makes kind of like a ratchety noise. You push it all the way until you hear a click and it won't go anymore. Then you pull it back and then you can fire. Um, Alright, so in the trigger, it seems like a fairly nice trigger pull, even though the trigger is quite small. Um, it is a fairly nice trigger actually. Um, and the one, the one uh, bad thing that I noticed about the um, priming bar handle thing is that when you're pushing it forward, you have to use the back of your hand to push it down. And that is terrible design because the back of your hand, it's not designed to touch stuff. And after you prime the blaster like 10 or 15 times, um, the back of your hand will start to hurt a little bit. It just gets kind of annoying. Um, now moving back here, this is actually fairly comfortable when you're not pushing it down and like destroying the back of your hand. Then we've got a built-in stock here in the back, which is actually fairly comfortable and is like the perfect length. It actually might be a little bit long for some small children. And then also attached to the stock, we have a sling point for bandoliers and stuff. Um, so going over the aesthetics, um, this blaster, it looks very, very nice. Um, I know some people aren't a fan of the um, fake cloth wrap, but I actually like it. I think it looks cool. And it does, I don't know what it is about the zombie apocalypse that means everybody puts cloth around their blaster, but it just reminds me of like a zombie apocalypse. I don't know why, it just does. Alright, um, paint scheme, the classic um, black, green, gray, and brown. And obviously orange thrown in there. Um, one thing that I did forget to mention is that See, that's what I was talking about, the issue where it wouldn't prime all the way. Alright, there we go. See, that's, like, it does come with a 6 Dart Elite clip, which is the new version, where it's opaque orange on one side, or transparent orange and on one side, and then opaque orange on the other side. Alright, so, now moving on to another feature of the blaster is this kind of thing than shooting. I think that it's really cool to do that, but you're not going to do that in a war scenario. I mean, in a war scenario, you're going to want to be firing off as fast as possible, and I'm going to do a quick rate of fire demonstration. Alright guys, that was six shots fired off. And as you can see, like 33% of the time, or two times out of the six, when I pushed it forward, I didn't go far enough before I started to pull back. So it didn't actually prime the blaster fully and it locked up. So you've got to make sure that you go forward all the way, then you can pull it back and fire. Alright guys, so my f opinion on this thing is that it's a very, very cool concept. But with the fact that um, you're pushing down on the back of your hand, which makes it very, very uncomfortable, um, that really takes away from the uh, coolness factor, I guess. It takes away from the whole, like, lever prime. Um, another thing that I don't like is the stock is almost a little bit too long for me. Um, and I'm bigger than like the average person who's going to be running around playing with a Nerf gun. Other than like people who play say HVZ and do NIC Wars. Um, and then another thing that I don't like is that it has no barrel attachments. That to me is frustrating. Because I actually can see why Nerf wouldn't do that. Because if you, if you put a barrel attachment on here and you try to do this thing. 
would be kind of tough because the barrel attachment would be like way too low. I mean, when I stand up and do that, the um, barrel of the blaster, it's coming within like, I don't know, a foot and a half of the uh, ground. And you don't want a barrel ex extension, I guess, when you're doing that, like flying off or hitting the ground because that would just screw up your barrel and it would like completely screw up your prime. All right guys, so if I was gonna rate this on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it a 7.5, um, just because of the whole novelty thing. And unfortunately, I have actually not seen it fire, so I'm gonna do one quick fire right here. Alright guys, so it looks like it's getting about the same ranges as most Elite Blasters, which is understandable because the Zombie Strike line is in fact part of the Elite line. Um, so yeah, that's going to even add to my uh, rating of 7.5. Um, Alright guys, so 7.5 for the um, Sling Fire, which I forgot to mention I picked up at Target today for $25. US dollars. And now let's get on to the firing test. I will see you guys there. Alright guys, one thing that I forgot to mention is that the priming handle is very flimsy. Even though it's flimsy, it's not going to break because the plastic, it can bend. Um, and it's not one of those plastics where like if you bend it, it's going to snap right away. And I know on the Stampede Riot, Riot Shield, um, there was an issue where when you bent it, it, the plastic would like turn white. But that does not happen with this thing. It is, I've bent it a lot of times and it's still the same color it was when it came out of the box so all right now let's get on to the firing test uh like always i'm going to be shooting at that door right there which is roughly 25 feet away so let's go and i'm going to be firing off six flat shots Um, alright guys, so as you can see, that last shot was a complete and utter dud. I have no idea what was up with that, but I, I don't know, maybe this barrel seal wasn't right. Maybe it just hit the barrel on the way out and it kind of flopped. I'm not sure, but, um, would I recommend getting the sling fire? Sadly, I can say, or sadly, I can't say that I would recommend it, um, if you're in the market for like a cool novelty blaster, then yeah, definitely pick this one up. But if you're looking for a war practical blaster, don't get this thing. I mean, I can't see you like putting an 18 dart stick mag in here or even putting or putting like a rampage drum in here. So I think the biggest thing that I would even consider putting in here would probably be a 12 dart clip. And those are not sold by themselves. So the only way you're going to be able to get those is by buying Retaliators or Elite Alpha Troopers. Um, so as always guys, hit that red subscribe button if you want more awesome content and keep it tuned right here to King Nerf. I will see you guys in the next episode.